Hi everybody, it's Michelle for Scrappy Chic. Um, I wanted to demo really quickly a technique that Dina Wakely um, did on one of her daily demos with her gloss sprays. You can see here, um, this is the um, Ranger Media Board that I just cut into three by three squares. And what she did to make these backgrounds was she poured her acrylic gloss sprays um, onto the board. And um, when you pour two colors and they're wet, they do blend a little bit. You can kind of see how they blend, but when one is dry and you pour the other one over, you can see how it creates a resist. So I've done um, several little squares because in another video, I'm going to show you a binding technique that she also did on um, one of her, her demos. But um, these squares so far have cheddar, which is my favorite of the colors, um, turquoise, and magenta. So these ones down here have those three colors. I am going to do some pouring on these uh, bottom three so that they're... Um, they're uh, all the same um, to create the book. The other thing too is um, as these sprays ran off, I kind of let the backs get done too so that you have the backs done as well. So I just let them sit in there. So you're creating various backgrounds on the different surfaces. Um, so um, don't freak out, but we're going, <laughs> we're going to pour our spray onto the little squares. You know, you don't have to pour too much, but um, I was using one um, for my main one, and then I was kind of pouring the paints onto the others like this. So you can see in this one, this blue was still a little wet, so it is blending. Um, it's resisting where it was dry, and it's blending where it was wet. Um, but you can see how this makes a very organic background. Um, so that you can create a little book, which, like I said, we're going to do a binding technique um, that Dina also uh, showed with some sticky back canvas. So that was olive, and then the last one was marine that you can see is the darker color in here. So just have some fun and make a mess. Um, you can just pour a little here and see how it works. And like I said, it blends when the two paints are wet, but resists, so you can see how it's kind of coming off of the cheddar here, um, resists where it's dry. I'm also taking my sticky back canvas I'm gonna use for our next video and mopping up some of the extra paint because we don't wanna waste anything. Um, so you can see that that is how the backgrounds are created. I chose to leave um, some white space so that when you do the rest of your book, um, you've got some white space on your on your page. So um, thanks for joining us. And if you would like to get a hold of any of these products, you can certainly uh, email Scrappy Chic at info at scrappychiclavonia.com. And we are shipping now, so um, if there's something that you need, feel free to email us and we'll get that out to you. And then watch for the second uh, video that we'll have in the next couple of days to show how we're going to bind these pages together with Sticky Back Canvas to create a little album. Thanks everybody, stay safe.